Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Silver Surfer. Now, recently I took Silver Surfer to rank 5, and as you can see, I got his signature ability to 180. I actually have enough Sig Stones to get him to 190, but in case I actually pull him again in the Crystals, I don't want to use those 10 signature stones and then have them wasted if I pull him from the crystal. So we're just waiting. If I get another 10, he's going to get maxed out. All right, but let's look at his attributes here. All right, so he is a hero, offensive burst, medium size. And I always look at the block proficiency. And as you can see, his is not that great. Um, it's not horrible. It's not the worst in the game, but I would like to see block proficiency up around 70. That's the what I consider decent block proficiency. All right, and the synergy bonuses. This first one is quite interesting. Uh, with Terax, who is a new champion that just came to the contest, once per fight, if he were to lose more than 25% of his health in a single hit, he instead consumes the Power Cosmic buff, which means he has to have Power Cosmic buff active, and gains an indestructible buff for 6 seconds. So this could actually be quite beneficial. Uh, I don't have Terax as a 5-star, but I've heard he's pretty decent, uh, at least on defense. So I could see myself bringing him along. Then we've got this next bonus here synergy bonus reduce the cooldown of silver surfers power cosmic buff by three seconds so when he consumes it and we'll get into that a little bit later it's going to come back every nine seconds so reducing it by three seconds can be useful um and we've got og hulk and dr strange two that i don't think a lot of people would bring to their teams normally but with kabam committing to buffing two champions per month we may see these two guys get nicely buffed all right then we've got a mine travels through space uh we've got mysterio and night thrasher board attacks generate 30 percent less power for the opponent so that's sort of a power control synergy and i can see myself bringing mysterio on a team he is quite good he has that passive heal block. So, yeah, I could see that. And then the last two, he has synergies with all the Fantastic Four, increases armor rating, and he also has synergies with Mephisto, Doom, and Annihilus, and gains critical rating. All right, let's take a look at his abilities. So his signature ability just increases the potency of all of his buffs. Now, that is definitely a nice to have, but uh, not absolutely necessary. All right, so you can see at 180, it's increasing it by 42.95%. All right, now here are his passives. He takes 100% less damage from Cold Snap, Incinerate, and Shock debuffs. Each stack of these debuffs count as a unique buff for any of Silver Surfer's abilities. So there is something I want to mention here. You may think it's weird. Sorry if you heard that. That's me. Uh, you may think it's weird that it reads minus 100%. Why not just say he's immune? Well, he's not immune. And the way they have this is so that if he goes up against someone that is on a node that boosts their cold snap, incinerate, or shock, then he's going to do minus 100%, but if they're at 150%, he's still going to take damage. He won't take as much damage. You know, like say it boosted by 150%, someone who is immune, of course, won't take any damage, but he will at least take 50% of the damage. All right, so that's why that reads there. And it's actually quite interesting that each stack, if he's going up against someone and he has cold snap incinerate, because he's not immune, 
he's going to get those debuffs on him. If you are running willpower, you're going to heal from any of those. And each stack counts as a unique buff. And we're going to see a little bit later that the more unique buffs he has, the more beneficial certain of his abilities are. Now, each of his hits deal a burst of energy damage for each unique buff. Okay, so when he's got a cold snap, incinerate, or shock debuff on him, he's going to be doing more damage. And it's going to be in the form of energy damage. Now, the fact that it's energy damage means that fighting against someone who is energy resistance, uh, resistant will reduce his damage. Also, fighting against someone who likes energy, like Human Torch, that's just going to raise his temperature and cause you to take a lot of damage. All right. So next up, we've got that Power Cosmic buff. We talked about that a little bit earlier. He gains an indefinite Power Cosmic buff. And if it ends, it comes back in nine seconds. Remember that Synergy reduced it by three. Uh, while the buff is active, Silver Surfer is going to rotate between dormant buffs. He gets a cosmic, uh, combat power rate, fury, and armor up buff, and it just rotates every two seconds. When you consume the power cosmic buff, which we'll talk about a couple of ways to do that, it'll convert the dormant buff into an active buff. So it's almost like a little roulette wheel. You'll see it going, and if you time it right, you'll get the buff uh, that you want. And it's not hard to uh, time it. Uh, and he also inflicts three armor breaks. That was so annoying when I was fighting him with Ghost because he doesn't need to make contact in order to put those armor breaks on you. Okay. Now, here are the rotating buffs. And you have a max stack of two for each one. And notice that it will refresh the expiration of all the active buffs when creating a rotating buff that does not exist. So that means if you first activate the power rate, then you're going to have, you know, 15 seconds of a power rate. But then if you activate the fury, it's going to refresh the power rate. You'll get another 15 seconds and you'll get the fury for 24 seconds. Then if you have both power rate and fury active, and then you activate the armor up, then it's going to refresh the fury and the power rate and you get the armor up so you can have all three at the same time. All right. When charging a heavy, it will consume the power cosmic buff. So that's the first way to consume the power cosmic. Um, and it also creates a phase buff, which causes the opponent 100% chance to miss for 1.1 seconds. That's kind of nice because that means you're going to be able to fire off your heavy without worrying about getting interrupted. So as your buffs are rotating, you see the one you want. You can hit heavy even if you're in the middle of a combo or he's attacking you and he's going to miss. You're going to be able to fire off your heavy and you'll get that buff active. All right, all of his special attacks, they pause the duration of the Power Cosmic buff cooldown. His rotating dormant um, icons and all active buffs until the special ends. So if you have those buffs and they're just about to expire, then fire a special attack and they get paused and you will get all the benefit during the attack, only during the attack. Okay, so here is special attack one. Here's another way to consume the power cosmic buff. This time, if you use the special attack one method, it will create two buffs based on whatever the dormant icon was active. When you do the heavy attack, it's only going to do one. So you can do a quick heavy, you know, if you don't have a special one yet. And I believe I've seen some videos where uh, they'll go in, do a quick attack, and then do a heavy because the power rate buff is active. 
that'll give them one stack and it helps them get to their special one that much quicker. If at least three unique buffs uh, are active when launching this special, gain a Vigilance buff, allowing all attacks to bypass myth, Miss for 12 seconds. So here's another case where having those unique buffs, and remember with the Incinerate, Cold Snap, Shock uh, that we read earlier, counts. If you uh, look up here, get all the way up here, there we go. So they all count as a unique buff. So if he has Cold Snap or Incinerate or a Shock debuff, that's gonna be one of the unique buffs. And then if you just get another two, like one of the uh, dormant ones, two of the dormant ones, and you're firing your special one attack, then you activate that particular uh, mechanic, which can be useful if you're fighting someone that has you know that miss uh, mechanic on them. Don't know how useful that will be, but at least you guys know about it. Special attack two, it increases the potency of any burst of energy or physical damage by 180% for the duration of this special attack. If at least three unique buffs are active, here we go again. When launching this special attack, Silver Surfer creates an unblockable buff for four seconds. Now that one I see as far more useful than the first one. You know, if they have a miss mechanic, but unblockable, that means that I can get to a special two. And if I have incinerate, shock, cold snap, or if I just have all three of my buffs active, or maybe I have a synergy with some other uh, duo or, you know, and I have another buff, you know, like for example, uh, I don't know, Heimdall, maybe with Angela, uh, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, um, I believe you get a, you know, Fury uh, with them. That may count as a unique buff. I don't know if it will override his own attack buff. But in any case, that will make your special attack two unblockable. Uh, the fact that it's unblockable for four seconds just means that you're going to have an unblockable special attack two. All right. Um, special attack three. You gain an aptitude buff, increasing the potency of Silver Surfer's Fury. Armor up and precision buffs by 25% for 24 seconds. Then re-trigger each of Silver Surfer's active rotating buffs. So if you have all three active and you fire off your special three, it's going to re-trigger them all. Uh, each aptitude buff on Silver Surfer also increases the potency of his combat power rate buffs by 25%. So you're already gaining a lot of power. This is going to make you gain power even faster. So very nice. I like him. Uh, he is not just a prestige rank up, much to my surprise, because when I ranked him up, I was thinking, yeah, prestige. But he's got a little bit under the hood. All right. So let's uh, take him for a spin. See what, see he, what can he can do. do. All right, so instead of going into Realm of Legends and fighting Winter Soldier, which I don't believe is a good showcase of his abilities, he can do that fight. But I asked in my line groups, where should I take Silver Surfer to show him off? And my friend who often lurks in my streams, Abdulaziz, I'm practicing his name. I don't know if I got it right. Uh, but he suggested Act 6.2.2. There's a freezer burn path, and that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're starting right here off with Sentinel. Uh, the first fight was actually Punisher 2099. I used my Starkey, went in there, got wrecked by the uh, Incinerate, which I expected, and just got him almost down, then finished him off with Blade. So you can see the nose that we're dealing with here, that freezer burn, as I mentioned. Uh, if you don't have someone who is either incinerate immune or like a uh, silver surfer doesn't take any damage You're gonna have a bad time now notice how I started the fight 
I parried and fired off a heavy. That gives me that power game buff. Now, I'm just working, building my way up. You see that I have an incinerate on, but because I have willpower, I'm actually healing, okay? Now, something that I said when we were looking over his abilities and his, um, his buffs, his rotating buffs, uh, I didn't give enough credit to the armor up buff. That armor up buff really mitigates the damage, and I want you to see that throughout the fight, okay? So right here, I activated one stack. And just look at the damage that he takes. Now, this is Act 6. This is before they have changed the attack values. In case you're watching this uh, video after they've uh, changed the attack values, this is before that. They've only announced that they're going to do that. So this guy just wrecked this Sentinel. Okay, and look at the health that he finished that fight with. Pretty impressive, I would say. Uh, not just a prestige champion. I have no regrets taking this guy up. All right, so again, you see I've done the same thing. I parried, fired off a heavy. Uh, I actually don't have to parry. Uh, you will see in at least one of these fights where I fire off the heavy attack, they fire their special, it misses, and I have time to block. So it actually acts sometimes as a taunt because when you go for a heavy and the AI has power, it usually is gonna throw a special in your face trying to get you, all right? But because of the miss mechanic that Silver Surfer has with that uh, heavy attack, you know, you can throw it at any time, all right? So you can see I fired off that special two and did you see the damage? that that special two did, okay? Now I messed up there because I was kind of off a little bit. Uh, I was expecting the special two uh, not to do that much damage. I knew it was gonna do a lot of damage. So I was sitting there stunned for a little bit. I was like, whoa, is that gonna kill him? And then it didn't, I'm like, wow, but that was impressive damage and forgot I was in the fight getting hit and all that good stuff. But look at his health. Even after getting hit, look at his health. Silver Surfer is actually pretty impressive. Now, I normally hate fighting Agent Venom because that, tenacity. Very annoying, it throws me off. If you're very quick, you can get in your attack, but you see how I'm, you know, off in my timing because of that tenacity, all right? And I'm also trying to look up because I'm still not used to fighting with Silver Surfer. You know, trying to get his rotations, watch the buff, I wanna wait till the, uh, Power Cosmic comes back, and it's back now. Okay, so now, if I fire off a special one, wherever that uh, rotating buff is, it will consume the Power Cosmic. All right, so you see here, boom. I fired off a uh, heavy, and that gives me uh, the armor up, okay? And now I'm just going in just look at the damage. Look at that damage. Now, that time I didn't crit as much as I would have liked. Uh, something that I forgot to do during this run, I brought in Heimdall and Guillotine. The reason that I brought them in is because if you hold block, you know, dash back and hold, you will get a precision buff. That's gonna count as one of his unique buffs. Um, I do think I do it, um, I think I did it in one of the fights. Uh, but I forgot, for the most part. So here we are fighting Phoenix, and you guys already know how she do. Uh, she will have that cheat death. So here I got two of the uh, attack. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of damage. And I'm just baiting out, baiting out. Now I have the power Cosmic back. And I'm like, okay, what, I, what do I want right here? And I was too busy looking up there and was getting hit. Uh, but here we go. And all right, we finally baited that out. Okay, we're going in. And look at that, it's unblockable because I have three unique buffs up. I have the armor up, I have the attack, 
and the incinerate. Remember the incinerate counts as a unique buff. I also have the precision buff up, okay? So that gave him that unblockable special too. And you see right there, I fired off a heavy right in her face, uh, even though I'm still getting used to it. Uh, it. It sometimes throws me off, but just look with all the mistakes that I'm making, look at his health. That is impressive. So that armor up buff, if you can get the two stacks, you take very little damage. And remember, this is act six and the attack values are crazy high. All right, so that's it for the incinerate path for the most part. I'm not gonna do this fight up here uh, and I'm certainly not gonna do the sinister boss, but that's it. It's this fight and then we have Mr. Sinister. All right, so I am pleased with Silver Surfer. Um, I don't hear a lot about him, you know, other than prestige, but hopefully you have seen that he is more than a prestige champion. Freezer Burn Path, if you have Silver Surfer, use him. All right, so yeah, he's not the most suicide friendly, but you don't have to fire off the special one to get the you know active buffs. You can fire off a heavy. So in a way, you can work around the um, you know the recoil damage by not needing to fire a lot of specials. All right, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you have a newfound appreciation of Silver Surfer because he is pretty good. You know, very simplistic to play but quite effective. So take care, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the video, and you all have a blessed day.